So when we moved to Jameson Road, there wasn't a lot of neighbors. Uh, there was Gibsons at the end of the road, which would have been less than a kilometer, maybe half a kilometer away. Uh, then there was um, there was the Qualchucks. Actually, the Williams owned the property, and he had a sawmill. Well, I'll, I'll step back here because uh, so Gibsons had a sawmill, and then we were like I say, half a kilometer away, and we had a sawmill, and then Williams had a sawmill. And uh, the cook for the Williams, he was quite a big crew, and the cook for Williams' sawmill uh, crew was Phyllis Quelchuk, and she had four children, and uh, and they were all about our age. So, so there was, you know, sort of kids in the area to associate with. And then uh, further down the road from Williams Sawmill was Bud Jewell, and he had a sawmill. So there's actually four sawmills within the area of maybe two to three kilometers, yeah, which was, was quite interesting. And they all had their own contracts. And, and my brother and I, the odd time, would end up working for, um, for Gibson's. You know, like uh, a lot of his, the waste, the, the, like the slabs that came off the logs, which is the first cut of, of the bark and stuff. He would end up cutting up into two small pieces for firewood, and he had a contract where he actually rail shipped it someplace. So, my brother and I, the other time, would would work for him just to load his truck and then take it over to the a rail car, which was over in the Morley Reserve someplace, and uh, offload it onto the rail car. But, and uh, then, yeah, further further down the road then was. Um, uh, well, Brochet was uh, the family, I think, that owned the place. And, uh, and McCoy was the uh, hired hand. Brochet's actually, I'm not sure where they lived, but they were French. And I think some of the family still lived in France. And they, uh, so, and they had no children. And then, uh, and then further down the road from there was Sandy Jameson. And, I don't know if Sandy Jameson ever married, or if he did, it might have been later in life. And that was pretty much everybody that lived on Jameson Road. Uh, you know, and there were some, some cabins not too far down the, from where we lived. I believe they were owned by city people, but I never knew any of them, uh, not while I lived out there. It was just a, a regular sawmill, you know, like... Uh, you know, like we, we didn't have big logs on our on our property. Probably the biggest would have been uh, maybe 14, 14 inches in diameter. Yeah, and we would cut like we could easily cut 16 foot two by fours, four by fours, two by sixes. You know, it wasn't we, the logs weren't big enough to cut anything bigger than that. Contract. Well, everybody had their own contracts. Um, and I, like I think the biggest one would have been William Sawmill, and I think a lot of his contracts were in the city for building material. Uh, as far as helping everybody out, um, we seemed to maybe work more with the Gibsons. Uh, Williams kind of, like I say, had his own. And, but Jewel, uh, I, I really don't know. You know, my dad may have helped but outside the odd time, but I really. I really didn't know the man and really didn't spend any time around there because he didn't have any children to, 